Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you're returning, well, friends, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our channel. If you've been liking my videos, if you've already subscribed, oh, I'm sending you so many blessings. Thank you so much for helping me push my content out into the algorithm and share these videos with other people in your life that you think would like them and you think might benefit from them. I greatly appreciate it. For anyone that is interested in a private reading, please know that I do offer those, but the only way to book a reading with me is by visiting my online shop, shadowplaycollective.com. It is on your screen right now. Um, if you feel so inclined, you can head on over there and check out all the different kind of readings that I have to offer. Um, it's super easy to book. And if you have any questions, I would love to connect with you over on the site. And so friends, let's get to it. Today's reading. So today's reading is a little 18 plus situation just because the theme, we're trying to get it a little spicy. We'll see what ends up happening, but just know that I'm um, going into it. Okay. We are also, yeah, I'm like, we are also going to remind you who's we, I don't know, me and my spirit team, but we're going to remind you. This is a collective reading on YouTube, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. If something happens to trigger you, if um, you know you hear about an energy that you don't want to hear about, that it just doesn't feel like it's for you, all you have to do is click off of the reading and that's it. You don't have to claim it as your story because it very obviously is not. So today we're going to be looking into your next hookup, your next spicy encounter, friends. Let's get to it. We're going to be getting as many details for you as possible, including who is this person that you're going to be hooking up with? What is the vibe between you guys? And what can you expect out of this encounter? We have three groups to choose from. Y'all know what to do. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. I need to remind you, today's reading might get a little spicy. Well, at least we're hoping it does, right? Today, we're going to be looking into your next hookup, your next spicy encounter, friends. What can you expect? What do you need to know? And who is this person? Please keep in mind it's a collective reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. If I happen to pick up on energy that you don't want to know anything about, I get it. I respect it. Just click off the reading. Um, you're doing us all a favor when you do that. All right. So let's begin, friends. Let's get to it. Let's get messages regarding the next time you hook up with this person. Who is this person? What's it going to be like? What do you need to know? Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones, my group number one spirit. Oh, their next hookup. Their our next encounter spirit what can you tell us whoever this is i feel like you guys are vibing with this person someone might be a gemini some of you could have um waited for a while to hook up with this person i don't know we'll see i just saw wheel of fortune it feels like something's destined along with that lover's card something's gonna align for you and this person Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones, please. Oh, yeah. This is someone that you really want. Something about them makes them slightly unavailable. Maybe they're your boss. Maybe they're someone's, I don't know, baby daddy. I don't know. We're not pushing that here, but I'm just saying there's something about this person that you're like, damn, I've been wanting this for a while. Or maybe you've been wanting someone like this for a while. What I tell you guys, the lovers, you want this person. Aquarius energy. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo showing up. This is someone who might get attention and you normally wouldn't have a chance with them. There's been an encounter in the past that maybe uh, there's a reason why it couldn't happen then, but is about to happen. This person seems mature or you view them as being mature. We have the high priestess in reverse. Whatever is about to be revealed to you, you're going to like. You're going to like what you see when this person <laughs> reveals themselves to you. You like what they have going on um, underneath them robes. <laughs> uh, listen, you have been fantasizing about this person or they've been fantasizing about you. 
you guys are going to get a little, this feels like a little bit freaky in the situation with that seven of cups. It makes me think that there's going to be um, new things that you try. There's been a lot of fantasy here that's happened in the situation. This is, this might be very spontaneous as well. Maybe that's why you're just like, I feel like you guys are thinking while it's happening. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's happening. I can't believe it's happening. <laughs> Maybe that's them with you because someone's been wanting this for a while. So finally, we get a moment of truth. You guys may have been feel, feeling this building with this person. That's why there's been a lot of fantasy that's going on. It's like you want to do all the things. Like we want to like go down, go up, go to the side, go to the back, go to the front type of vibes. No, no, no angle left. Un, un <laughs> untouched. I was going to say untethered, unbothered. <laughs> oh, this is um, fun energy I'm tapping into. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Listen, you guys, this person, you guys know them to have a family or through family or through work. There is something involving why it may be a little taboo. Now, it almost feels like it's a fantasy come true. Maybe some of you um, have been fantasizing about, I don't know, dad bod or like, you know, someone who like owns a business or feels more mature than what you've been dealing with in the past, or it's just the specific person. Cause it literally feels like someone here is on cloud nine, that this is happening. This person feels like they're pretty, um, it's interesting. It's like they take care of you during as well. Uh, they they show a caring side to themselves in bed. What else, please? We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh yeah, this person is very passionate. They show this side. This person is like a passionate, like love maker, is what it sounds like. You guys have been. They've been thinking about this too. And maybe so. Maybe time has passed, or there had to be patience here, or there had to be an obstacle removed, or the right things had to align. And it's like, bam, they do. You guys, this feels like it's fun. Someone here feels trapped and in their head over maybe the speed of things, or like, a, yeah, maybe there was a lot of holding back. Oh, this person. So this person feels like, I, I can't tell if they're slightly older than you or if they just like own a business or um, they're just like, they have a lot of responsibility. I don't know. It's kind of hot though. They're very appealing. Let's put it that way. And you don't see this coming. You guys don't see this coming. It's going to be pretty sudden. Yep. This person might teach you a thing or two, or you might teach them a thing or two. <laughs> it's just like a, oh my gosh, I finally get to live out what I've been dreaming of, what I've been thinking of. What else, please? We have Scorpio, Aries, and Pisces energy coming through. All signs are showing up. What else, please? For some of you, this is someone who is returning after like a while, after a phase in their life has ended or they have traveled back to you. It feels like they have stories to share. I think you like talking to this person. I'm going to, I kind of feel like this person is kind of cultured or like, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like they have interesting things to share. Super flirty. This person's going to want to take care of you. Hee <laughs> All right. Let's see how they're going to want to take care of you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group number one. Let's see about the actual, the actual encounter. Let's see what info we can get as to your encounter with this person. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for... My group number ones, messages from my group number ones, please. What can you tell us about this encounter with this person? When my, per when my person, when my group number one <laughs> hook up with this person, what can you tell us about this? This alleged encounter. About top secret. 
Maybe it is. Yeah, this person's like tender. Oh my gosh, you guys. This person's like gonna like be a little like, it's not like romanticals, but it's like passionate and caring. So I'm thinking you guys are gonna be like, there's, I feel like there's passionate like making out. Like you guys are literally like, yeah. It makes you it makes you see things a certain way or makes you see them a certain way. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Or if you do have an idea, if you guys have already hooked up, it's almost like a oh my gosh, I missed this or I forgot what this is like. Or maybe you feel like they're showing a more caring side to you. If this is someone, they're oh they're giving you a lot of attention. Oh they're giving you head. Okay, thank you, spirit. <laughs> That's what that was. Oh my gosh, I swear to God, even my guides are like, she's so innocent sometimes. <laughs> it's true, I am. All right, now they're giving you a lot of attention, guys. They're giving you, um, yeah, they're, this person's going to go down on you. Hold on. And as I say that, this flew under the table. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is the kind of stuff that is uh, kept in the bedroom, you guys. Listen, this feels kind of secretive. This feels a little secretive. This feels like we can come together and no one has to know or no one knows what's going on. You guys are going to take up this opportunity. This person, uh, it could also be like nighttime, indicating like nighttime, exploring in the dark, if you will. All right, why the King of Cups, please? We have the two of wands. So this person doesn't want to do anything that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. They're going to hold back. This is like consent energy. Okay, consent zaddy. Like we're into that, right? This person wants to make sure that you're comfortable and they're giving you like the right attention. I think it's because they kind of want a lot all at the same time, but they're kind of taking it. I'm not going to say they're taking it slow because I don't think they are. I just think that they're making sure that you're okay throughout it, that you like what's going on. This person is giving you a lot of attention at this moment in time, which makes me feel like you're the priority um, when you guys get into it. Yeah, this person is... Mm -hmm. They're viewing this opportunity with you as maybe something to give you something to remember, you know, something memorable. Again, you guys, this person going down on you, like it's what keeps coming up. <laughs> we have the three of wands. We have the five of cups. It's interesting. It's like they, they've been waiting for this. They've been thinking about it, you guys. I think you guys both have. It's almost like you guys have both been waiting to be able to give each other this level of attention because it seems like you guys enjoy each other's company and there's also like getting over like sadness. Like if you guys were in your feels, if this is someone that you've been wanting, it's like that's being soothed. Oh yeah, this person. So it's like you can trust them that they're not going to be telling other people what happened here. They're going to be like, oh, I don't know, nothing. They're going to, they're not too much of a, I can't tell. I feel like during, they're not like, they're just taking up opportunities. Wait, let me sit in this for a second. Give me one more spirit. It's like they're being truthful. They're like revealing something to you in this moment. Again, I feel like it's something that you don't see coming. Yeah, and it's like there is something about timing here. They're going to give you their time as well. And I don't feel like there's too much planning behind it. That's why it might be spontaneous or it might just kind of be a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, it keeps saying, I don't think you see this coming when it when it actually happens. But this person is coming in to reunite with you. They, uh, mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, this person wants to make you feel good. And like I said, it's like they want they want to give you something that you'll remember them by. 
So this almost feels, listen, I don't know if you guys are going to full on like, um, like, I don't know how much you guys are going to do with this person. Like, I'm almost feeling like some of you, this person like wants to go down on you and make you come so that you can like be like, oh my gosh, they're the best. Or they did that so good so that they leave you reminiscing. So maybe you guys are short on time if this is someone that you know. Or something about time-wise. Either way, though, I feel like you guys are happy. I feel like you guys are happy. You guys are maybe are left wondering, when's that going to happen again? Because it feels like afterwards you feel like closer to this person. It feels like you guys have a strong bond with this person. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us about my group number ones and this person that they're going to be hooking up with? What can we know, please? This person, you guys, this person, some of them want to make you like scream or like something. <laughs> they want to finish you. See the death card. They want to finish you. All right. Oh, yeah. For some of you, this is a return from someone. They want to keep you up. <laughs> they want to keep you up late. They're going to. Yep. They want you to, like, let loose. They're so attracted to you. And I don't see too much talking. I see lots of, like, making out. I see a lot of, like, just body situation, body on body. Look at that. Three of cups coming back together. You guys could be like hanging out with this person, having a good time. There's an ending here that allowed this to happen. Either uh, work was in the way or family or other commitments. Why the four of swords? Why the Queen of Swords? They want to come in and make you feel better? Yeah, this person wants to make you come. That's how they're going to make you feel better. They're very set on that. Maybe they've made you wait, or this has been like a long time coming. Again, they want to leave you with something that you're going to remember them by. Listen, I almost feel like this person wants you to be missing them after. Like they want you to be thinking about them. Now we have the trip and squirrel and the three of cups. They want you to be focused or wanting to come back together with them. Because there's a lot here that maybe you're not letting on to or you're not saying. Maybe this person wants to make something up to you. Maybe they want to remind you of something, of how good they can give it to you. I don't know. <laughs> All right, my group number one. That's. That's what we got going on here. Let's pull some Oracle cards and some, you know what? Let's actually do, we're not going to do Oracle cards today. We're going to do charms and let's do initials. We have all signs showing up, but you guys like for real, this person wants to like make you feel better and they don't necessarily need conversation for that. <laughs> so what I <laughs> They want you to remember them by a signature move, I think. <laughs> all right, group number one. You guys know I'd be getting silly with your readings. I talk to myself all day long. If I don't get silly with you guys, I'll just be too damn serious all the time. All right, let's get some charms. Thank you, Spirit, for all these messages for my group number one. All right, let's see what we got here. I already see Wu, which always makes me think of Wu Tang. Uh, makes me think of 36 cha chambers, makes me think of 36. Maybe someone is 36 here. We have one. We have G-U-N as well. We have uh, maybe someone wants to pull the trigger on this. Wonk. Someone doesn't want you to think they're wonky. Gum. Things could get sticky. <laughs> We have H O E. Someone wants to do that. <laughs> then we have S B. 
Santa Barbara. All right, someone could be into sports here. We have our Marquez jersey, maybe soccer, maybe the number four means something. Someone could be a parent. We have this mom is doing her best. We have New York. Maybe there's an East Coast connection. This is a collector's pin as well. So there could be something um, rare about this. Maybe it's rare. The occasion is rare that you guys get this alone time. We have do not disturb. We have Marge dressed up as the nurse. Maybe some of you do a little bit of role play. Maybe someone here is heavily tatted or finds you to be very healing. We have nasty. Um, things are going to get nasty. They're going to get sticky and wet and just all kinds of stuff. We have ripe and ready to eat. You guys, this person is going to eat you. <laughs> they are. It, it kept coming through in your reading. Okay, group number one, get it. Then we have Rosalia wearing the mask. It makes me think no one knows or very few people know, or this is something that people would not expect out of us. <laughs> and then we have a journey. This does remind me of a crystal ball. Maybe you've seen this coming or someone recently came back from a journey, came back from travels, perhaps. Um, maybe someone here likes the band. I can't think of any songs off the top. I mean, I can, but I can't think of the names. What is Anyway, I'll just leave that there. You know they got some big ones. All right. Maybe someone has a big one. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. That's it. I'm done. Thank you so much for joining me, my group member ones. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you picked this sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Before we get to it, I do have to remind you that the topic of this reading is going to get a little spicy. I mean, here's hoping. Um, but yeah, just have to throw that in there. It's meant for 18 and over friends. And it's also a collective reading on YouTube. So please use your, your discernment. Only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If something um, happens to come up that you don't like, you don't agree with, I get it. All you have to do is click off of the reading. And that's it, friends. Don't, um, don't take it as your story if it's not yours. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Um, let's look into your next hookup, your next spicy encounter, friends. Let's see who this is with and what you can expect and what that situation is going to be like. What's the vibe? What's the energy? Um, we're going to get as many messages for you as possible, and let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, Spirit, what can you tell us about their next hookup, their next, their next encounter, please? What can you tell us about who it's going to be with? Who is this person that my group number twos is going to hook up with? And what can you tell us? I just saw the six of cups. So some of you, this could be someone that you care for, that you're reuniting with. Maybe for some of you, it's even someone you have like fond memories of. Oh, there's a lot of lust between you guys. Lots of sexual chemistry. What can you tell us, please, the next hookup that my group number two's have? You guys could be drinking, for those of you that drink, or, you know, under some kind of something, influence. What can you tell us? The King of Cups in reverse. So this person, they're like non-emotional. They're like, they want, they want sex. They want you. So this is someone that in the past, things haven't taken off yet. It does feel like in this group, there's already some um, knowledge of each other and it doesn't feel like you guys have gone there yet. It, does, it doesn't feel like you guys have hooked up in the past. Now, maybe you have and it's just been a while and it's like been hard to get things going. Maybe this person hasn't made a move, but there's been a sense of holding on to this connection. Why the devil, please? The empress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you. Why the seven of... And then here's this person. Yeah, this person's like, I want group number twos. And they're like not wasting time. They're literally... I can't tell if they're overtaken by their like desire or their wants. What they deem as needs. Let's see why they're coming off as emotionally detached, though. Why the fool? I mean, this could just be because they're just all 
yeah, things here haven't, they haven't moved forward. I think this person, oh, maybe they, oh, it's vulnerability. This person has a really hard time with being vulnerable. So that's who, so that's who this is with. It's with someone that it's been hard to like get things going. There's a lot of desire here, a lot of attraction, but there's, this person's like really closed off. They like to keep like a tight lid on emotions, on control. Even when they like someone, it's like, they're very, it's almost like, I can't tell if they rather have the other person be the one that like kind of initiates because it doesn't seem like they do. It's probably because of fear of rejection if they did. Here's the romance. Yeah, this person has emotion for you, but they're all closed off. So this is who your next encounter is with. We have all signs showing up, especially Capricorn, Aries, uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries again, Libra, and Taurus. What else can you tell us, please? My group number two is next hookup. up. They're afraid of rejection. This person's afraid that you're going to reject them. But you guys have a strong pool and you guys have both been denying this and it's been kind of annoying. It's been kind of like you're kind of over it. Someone here is very fearful that it's in their head. I think it's this person. I mean, it might be you too. You might be questioning. Well, I got news for you, friends. It looks like something's about to change for you guys because I think you're going to end up, you're going to end up hooking up with this person. Oh yeah. It feels like it's real physical, but it doesn't feel like emotion is behind it. Um, cause just someone isn't opening up. Interesting. Now this could even be someone if it's not that you know them already and that things haven't progressed for some of you, this is a new person that you meet while you're out. Maybe you guys are out like partying or at a bar or like somewhere like that. Um, and you meet this person and there, that's why there's like no other attachment. It's not going to go anywhere. It definitely doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, um, anywhere other than maybe, um, you know, to have a story to tell later. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the actual encounter is going to be like. Um, we have lots of messages coming through. We have lots of Gemini, Aquarius, Libra as well, joining the mix. All right, let's continue. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Their next, I'm like, their next sexual encounter. <laughs> so funny. What can you tell us? I'm like, I just know my spirit team is like rolling their eyes at me sometimes with these questions I come to them for. It's like, here we are having a channel to the universe, and then this is what we ask about. <laughs> For our entertainment, right, guys? <laughs> All right. What can you tell us about this actual hookup, please, encounter? What can my group number twos expect with this encounter with this person? Thank you, Spirit. What can my group number twos expect? It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. I feel like you guys are like whatever about it. I mean... I don't, uh, afterwards, I don't know if you guys are going to be feeling the greatest or someone here is like concerned over something. Oh, over not finishing. Something's not done. It feels like there's a lot of hesitation here. So even if you guys do, like, I'm not seeing any, like, any wands, anything that that dictates like hot and heavy time i'm seeing that there's a lot of indecision and there's like a there's something here that i feel someone is concerned about where it's like it's a is it a yes or is it a no someone's very unclear oh my gosh you might end up friend zoning this person because it doesn't feel like there's too much hot and heaviness going on here if you guys do end up hooking up with this person, uh, I don't think you guys are going to get too far with that. Now, if this doesn't sound like your story and this is someone you already know and you guys usually have it hot and heavy, maybe this isn't your group. But what I'm seeing here, it's almost like you're like, mm, 
maybe we're just friends. Maybe we should just keep it at that. I just think you view this person as being too closed off and maybe they're giving nothing or it's just, it's almost like hard to get conversation out of them or maybe someone here is too rigid. It just feels like you're going to want to move on from this because it doesn't feel like it's your vibe. Yeah, it leaves you in your head, you guys. I think you care about this person, but this leaves you questioning, like, what is this? What's right? I, I kind of feel like you guys are questioning if this was right. If this is someone that, like I said, things haven't progressed into hooking up with them. It feels like afterwards you're like, ooh, because there's emotion and you care and you understand, but there's something that you're not happy with. Things just feel blocked off here. Like, I want to know about the actual the actual situation. What happens? What else can you tell us, Spirit? Group number twos, their next encounter. What can you tell us? What's going to happen with this person during their next encounter? Thank you, Spirit. What's going to happen with this person? Look, look at them all showing up like the emperor. Mm. So it does feel like, you know, I, I do kind of think that they think they're, pu they're putting the moves on you in a clear way. And I don't think you see it that way. Here's the thing. You guys both feel drawn to each other and you guys both feel this connection, but however your encounter goes down with them, it doesn't feel like it's the vibe. It doesn't feel like it's the, the thing. It just doesn't feel it. You know, it may be during like you guys are trying to get into it and maybe you start thinking like, oh my gosh, this is my friend or this doesn't feel right or this isn't what I thought it was going to be because there's no passion here. If anything, I mean, I think you guys... I mean, I'm not saying it's not fun. I'm just saying it's not like leading with it. And not that every hookup needs to, but I'm not seeing much of anything other than, yes, I care. Yes, I feel connected, but something about this just doesn't feel right. I don't think you're going to be satisfied with the results, my group number twos. Temperance in reverse. You're going to be like, whatever, and five of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh, okay, whatever. And you're going to be trying to move on from it or from whatever this happened. Say you guys were, you know, a little under the influence. And this is uh, someone that you know that you're like, we're better off just being friends. Maybe it's going to be one of those things that you just rather not address again. Maybe you rather not talk about it. Um, your reading was different. Let's see what else we can get for you, my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us, Spirit? The situation. Now I'm calling it just a situation because it doesn't seem like there's going to be um, hot and heavy in your next encounter. Maybe it's hot and heavy for a second, but afterwards, look at that Eight of Cups. Afterwards, you're realizing that you need a, you need a, I just heard someone knock it off. You need to knock it off or you need to stop it. You need to quit this. You need to leave this kind of stuff behind. For some of you, that's not for everybody. Maybe it's this person or maybe it's certain behaviors. We have two of cups. What can you tell us? High priestess in reverse. I think you care about this person, but you're just like keeping a distance. You're like, we've known each other for too long. Some of you have known each other since school or yeah, and there's something about them that you're just like, you're viewing them different, or maybe they're not available, or it's just not right. It doesn't feel like maybe the timing is right, or, and it's like you, you're almost like, this isn't fair, like, this person, everything feels perfect, or it's like, this feels like my person. We care so much for each other, and at the same time, when it comes to this encounter, it's just not. It's just not it is what it feels like. You guys, you know, if that doesn't resonate, click off the reading. This is just what I'm kind of feeling. 
if you recognize some of these like attributes of like you and this person that you already know about, maybe this is just kind of like a little reminder or a little like caution um, as to how to approach the situation. If, if this sounds like something that you don't like by the three of wands, please. They keep showing up as this emperor. They don't really talk or express themselves. Um, I think they're very responsible. I think they're a hard worker. I think that they, um, on paper, might look like what you want or what you're looking for, but there's something else that isn't fitting the picture. And I think you're trying to figure that out. You're trying to figure out what to do. You're also kind of thinking that time is going to help, like, get over this or for this, this will pass with time. This Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords in reverse, it's like there's something very clear that you can't lie about or you can't unsee or you can't unknow when it comes to this person and the foundation that's here or their work, their career, their family background. I don't know. It feels like you have some form of, so you, you have other knowledge of this situation is what it feels like. Maybe some of you, I think I already said work with this person. So I do see you thinking about this a lot with this magician. It feels like you're manifesting something. I, I just think you're thinking back a lot. Maybe you miss this person and you're trying to revisit the times of how it used to be. Maybe this is someone that you used to hook up with like uh, in high school or like in your college years. And then you guys haven't seen each other. And then you see each other and you hook up and you're like, oh, that did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. You're like, that tasted different than what I remember. Um, someone could just not be available or not be single. Or there's a feeling here of going after things that aren't really going to grow for the sake of not being single. That's kind of a side story. But um, this, this King of Pentacles, this Emperor, it's the same person. They keep coming off as being very closed off. They won't. They're not opening up. They're not available. They hide their emotions. Someone here, hopefully not. Someone could be married or they're dedicated to other things or committed to other things. My group number two is the scandal. We have all signs showing up. Beware of this person. I don't even think they're going to make you come. Let's be real. I think they're going to come in and I don't know. We couldn't even get answers on that. I'm telling you, it was almost like a cautionary cautionary tale be aware of that one all right my group number twos let's get you some initials and then we'll get you some charms as well thank you spirit for all these messages for my group number twos now these are just meant as um to like aff affirmations right or like confirm if these don't match up with you that's totally fine as well maybe some of you came from um, group number group number one i'm noticing similarities we have gum something here is sticky we have x someone here could be dealing with an x something from the past we have i almost said xyz which reminds me of the end the end of something we have i u i o u Hopefully this person isn't like, I owe you. We have J, we have M, we have C. I'm thinking juice. Someone wants juice? Oh, friend. Is my friend watching this? I'm BM, baby mama. Someone here could be baby mama or have a baby mama. Maybe that's why no one can know about this. I'm back. Someone could have asked for gum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have R. Marquez, number four, again, the jersey. Someone could be into sports, soccer. Could, someone could be wearing a jersey when you see them. We have the sacred heart. Lots of love here to give, but there's also that dagger going through it, which reminds me of pain. We have I'm your puppet. Someone here could like oldies or just feels like this person is their weakness or vice versa. Feel free to switch the energies if you need to. We have Melted Mickey. There could be a Disneyland connection here. 
Um, also reminds me of being intoxicated at Disneyland. Not that I would know, but you know, I've heard things. <laughs> then we have keep at it. Um, someone here is persistent, persisting in this situation. They're not giving up. We have nasty. Someone here might want to get nasty. Uh, I don't know if the next time you're going to get too nasty with this person, but keep us posted, group number twos. Then we have knowledge is power. You are trying to find out more about this person. And I just think it's kind of like they're, they're being a little tough to crack, my group number twos. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. You know why you're here. But before we jump in, I have to remind you this is an 18 plus reading. So I'm just throwing that out there. The goal is to get this to be a spicy reading, but you never know. You never know where the reading's going to take us. Group one and two are completely different. So I'm excited to jump into group three. Also, keep in mind it is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest for somebody else. If something happens to trigger you, if you don't like the message, you are by no means forced to listen to it or accept it. You can click off the reading and, and all is well. We're all good. All right, so look at, let's get into it. Today, we're going to be looking into the next time you hook up with someone, the next time you hook up with this person, maybe it's a specific person. We're going to be looking into who this person is that you'll be having this encounter with. We'll be looking at the vibe between you guys. What's the energy going to be like? What do you need to know about the experience? And yeah, we're just going to try to get as many messages for you as possible. My group number threes. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please, Spirit. My group number threes and their next hookup. The next time they hook up with someone. What can you tell us about this person, please? Their next encounter. What can you tell us? messages for my group number threes please what can you tell us Ooh, oh i i was <laughs> i was literally like zoning out looking straight ahead and i wasn't even paying attention to what i was doing with the cards that was interesting i was like in a trance all right snap out of it let's get to it messages for my group number threes who is this person that they're going to be hooking up with we have queen of wands okay so lots of attraction here and passion. What's going on? The next time I group number threes. Uh, we have the eight of cups in reverse. It could be a returning, a return, if you will. We have the star card. We have Aquarius energy. Someone gets a lot of attention as well. You're looking good, my group number threes. You're getting some kind of attention. Someone's nervous. We have the Nine of Swords. There's a little bit of anticipation that I'm feeling with this energy. We have the World card. Oh, yeah, someone's nervous. <laughs> someone's nervous to get this going. We know where this is heading is what it feels like. And there is a little bit of anticipation that happens. Uh, you guys could have been communicating with this person or just suddenly they come towards you. Uh, you guys meet up, you guys, they travel, maybe they're traveling towards you. It feels like, oh yeah, you guys are going to be having a hot time for sure is what it feels like. This person, a person has a lot of desire towards you and a lot of attraction and passion. There's a lot of sexual tension between you guys leading up to this. It's almost like you guys are coming together to relieve this pressure that you guys have been feeling. Oh, the star card. Ooh. Ooh, let me, let me fan myself with this little Knight of Cups. The little Knight of, Cup, the Knight of Cups is coming in with his little romance, his little feelings, little offers. We'll take it. We'll take it when it comes to a hookup. Um, there's emotion here. Someone's being really sweet. Um, I feel like they're giving you attention. I feel like mentally it feels really good. Like we're both feeling, it feels like the vibes are nice. And it's, you can feel this connection. There's no questions. There is no, are they into me? It's like, no, it's obvious. Let's see why someone is in their head or why they're nervous. This nine of swords, someone might feel trapped or stuck. I feel like it's nervous. All right, why the nine of swords? 
over what makes them happy? Interesting. Someone gets spooked over how happy this makes them. Hmm. Hmm. Why the world card? King of Swords. You guys could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, but I feel lots of Aquarius here. Aquarius is coming through in several different places. We also have Leo, Aries, Sag. No surprise there because there is a lot of passion between you guys. This person is coming off. They've been planning this or they've been thinking about this for a long time. This person's also been thinking about making you come. Let's be real. That's literally like, it's like live in rent free in their head. And you wouldn't think it because looking at them, I don't think that they present in this way. I think they, they try to be pretty stoic or play. I don't know. Maybe they're even like a little coy. Look at this. They're coming in. It's all emotional. It, this isn't just physical. It's a lot physical. Don't get me wrong. Like this person, um, this person wants you for sure. Yeah, whoever the giver is here wants to give. <laughs> leave it there. I'll leave it there. All right. What else can you tell me, please? My group number threes, next time they hook up, who is this person? How would my group number threes know who this person is? Messages for my group number threes. Who is this person? It said, you know. This says, you know. This is the what you can't resist them. Oh, yeah. You guys want this person really bad. You know who this person is. Yep. Yeah, you guys, uh, someone here wants to get like messy. Just like, yeah, a little messy. Not messy and like drama, just like, you know. <laughs> You might need to clean up after. Yeah. <laughs> we have Leo energy. Lots of sexual tension. I feel like you guys are already feeling this. I don't think this is, it doesn't feel like it's someone new, you guys. It's really unexpected because I don't think you made plans with this person. I think out of nowhere, they're like, they're like one track minded and they like can't hold back anymore is what it feels like. We have Tower, King of Wands, and Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands in reverse, and the King of Wands was in reverse, but I'm taking him upright. Reversed, I just felt like they, there was no plan in place. This person hadn't told you or hadn't committed. I almost feel like they're selfishly like wanting to come over. Oh, interesting, come over. For some of you guys, it's going to be come over. Feels very unexpected. We have Scorpio. This could even be in Scorpio season. This person's been fantasizing about this a lot. They've been thinking about this and it gets to a point where something's going to trigger them. They're going to see something. That's who gets in this anxious energy. I feel like they see something. Maybe if they follow you online or I don't know, it just feels like something gets them in their head and they're like, they want to come in and they're just thinking about you making them happy or this making them happy. Yeah, someone here has been wanting this for, a, I feel like, a while. What else can you tell us? So that's who you would know who this is. This is coming back together from a person that you guys have either taken a break from or maybe you've put this situation on the back burner. You're just kind of doing you. Maybe you are just like, eh, whatever. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I'm not putting effort into it is what it feels like. And then out of nowhere, it feels like this just kind of pops in. And I don't think you're mad at it, my group number three. So it doesn't feel like you're mad at it. It feels like you're like, okay, I'm game. Like, yeah. Okay, well, let's see what the vibe is going to be of the actual encounter. My group number threes, what are you in? What's in store for you? What are you in for, my group number threes? What's this going to be like? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes about their next encounter with this person, Spirit. What can you tell us? What's it going to be like? What do my group number threes need to know? Thank you, Spirit. 
what's going to be like for my group number three. What's the vibe? What's the energy between them and this person? We have ten of wands. Okay. There is a lot of desire. I almost feel like for each other. Let's see the counter. What can you tell us? Oh, this person's going to like take the lead. Interesting. Some of them might try to like, I don't know, have some drinks or just there's like a, you guys are having a real good time and the vibe is like good. They're feeling it. You're feeling it. You guys are vibing out. It feels like you guys have had, um, see, here's the thing. It doesn't feel like it's just straight to like sex. It doesn't feel like it's just straight to the hookup. It feels like there's conversation, there's heart connection, there's some laughter, there's like, it just feels like an overall good time. And it feels like they see an opportunity and they're like, fuck yeah, like there's no reason not to is what it feels like. So you make this person feel really good. What can you tell us? They're going to reveal something to you. They're going to show you a side to themselves. To themselves? Yeah, themselves. All this cup and pentacle energy. I almost feel like there's something really emotional about this encounter. Or it's like a new beginning for you guys in different ways. You guys are getting to... Okay, so the other thing is your next encounter with this person, regardless of what your past is with them or past experiences... It feels like you guys are going to like get to know each other better. Like your, your body is better. Like try something different. Like it's something that we learn. And it feels like you're seeing through something. Possibly if you had fears in the past, if you were going to be compatible with this person or what something would be like, or I don't know. It feels like that's gone. Oh, this person is interesting. So when it comes to this encounter, it's saying that they're pretty traditional to some degree. Meaning, I wouldn't be surprised if this person like wants to see you face to face while you guys are like doing it, you know, um, there's something about wanting to connect with you. You guys, this person wants to connect through your eyes. So this person might hold eye contact at a time where maybe you normally wouldn't or it's just like intense. There's a sense of intensity. This person is coming off as being very traditional or like committed, maybe even committed to like pleasing you. They're real serious about what their role is in this, in all of this. <laughs> all right. Why the three of cups, please? What can you tell me? You just make this person feel really good. You might make them feel like they're in their power or that they're like, you know, I don't know. Maybe you like hype them up or something. Why the three of cups? So this isn't the first time that you guys do this with this person. They want to come in and reunite and repeat something with you. They want to repeat the good times. Yeah, this person wants to come back together. They've been thinking about this for a while. They've been hesitating. And the longer that they hesitated, it just, other things got in the way. And it could have been too long or they... It wasn't, I don't know, they kind of got in their head about it. This person's also very proud. I feel like they're a hard worker or they're a boss. Maybe they own their own business. They take on their commitments really serious. And I feel like that's how they're kind of showing up to this situation. All right, why the Ace of Cups, please? The Magician. Ooh, they are going to pull out all the stops. They want to come in and bring something into balance. They want to bring in truth. It's like they want to be real. Maybe they feel like they can be real with you. I don't know. It feels like they, it feels like there's something very genuine about this. And not saying that, you know, any of the other groups were fake or anything like that. It just felt like the energy was coming from a different place. Group number three is always different though, is what it feels like. We have lots of Aries energy coming through and Taurus, Pisces as well. Why did I say they want to be real with you? The seven of swords in reverse. They feel like you guys get along really well or you're just very compatible. They feel like they don't have to hide or like fake things. They also 
don't want you faking it with them. Again, there's a feeling here of getting to know you better, getting to know your body better. It's like this, it feels right is what they're saying. This feels right. This person is like pulling out the tricks. <laughs> it's what it feels like. Um, here's the other thing. This person really likes to kiss you. They like to, yeah, they really like to have deep, like making out with you. How wholesome. We have the page of swords. They're not the best communicator. But um, I feel like they're very attentive. And I feel like they are, they, they are, they are saying something, but it's not, um, like maybe they're like, do you like that? Is that okay? Why the night or why the moon? I said, why the night in reverse? Cause I'm thinking about nighttime. What? They're putting work into this. They want to make sure that what, that you like what they're doing. That's their, that's what they're a little bit in their head about. They want to make sure that they don't want you faking it. So this person, like their goal is to make you happy. They want you to finish, but they don't want you faking it. So it's like they're working at it. So they, like I said, they might be asking you, is this okay? They want to make sure that you're happy. You guys are going to go back and forth. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so here's what I'm kind of feeling for you guys. I'm kind of, when I, when I just said you guys are going to go back and forth is, I mean, you guys are literally going to go back and forth. You're going to go back and forth between kissing and then doing other things. You're going to be doing other things and then you're going to hop off or you're going to change it up, you know, and it almost seems like it's to make things last longer where you, you guys just want it to. Again, there's an exploration here that's happening exploration <laughs> i just thought of romeo and michelle's high school reunion where romy's like yelling like discover me ramon i don't know if anyone remembers that but that's literally what that made me think of because it does feel like they're exploring and discovering and here there is so much passion between you guys there's a lot of um it's not stop i, I was gonna say stop and go but it's not stop and go like you get things going and then they go cold and then we have to start over. It's like, nah, it's like hot through, but you guys change it up. You guys are also very attentive towards each other. This person wants to make sure that you are like happy and satisfied. That's something important to them. It's probably because they're this emperor and they are in their ego and they're good at their life or their job or their, you know, they feel good all around. So they want to make sure that they feel good with this. And again, there's a, almost a pressure on you. My group number three is not to fake it. That's hilarious. What I say, Knight of Coins, they're going to slow things down by going back and forth. Um, yeah, you guys might definitely to be taking turns on each other or just stepping back. Maybe, you know, having this little talk, this little interaction. Maybe you guys are laughing or maybe you guys are, I don't know. There's just a sense of being authentic, being real with each other, especially during this moment. We have true love, which is the lover's card. Taking your time is what it feels like. There's an emphasis here on them taking their time. Maybe they're afraid of you not finishing. Um, or someone here like came too early or something like that. But look at this sun and this nine of cups, the death in reverse, you guys, there's, so after this, um, like this is the type of situation that's going to be like flashback central afterwards. Like they're going to be thinking about this. You're going to be thinking about this. There's a lot of fantasizing that goes on. And then there's a lot. It's like it builds up the sexual tension again. I'm going to go ahead and say this is not going to be your last time with this person. It just doesn't feel that way unless this is someone that is just bad for you. And I'm not seeing that because we're not looking into that. We're just looking at your next hookup. But it feels like whoever this is, you guys are totally into each other. It feels like there's happiness here. I feel like you guys have a really good time. I feel like both of you 
are happy at the end and it doesn't feel like you're like letting this go you know it doesn't feel like it's the end this person gets really in their head they get really caught up um, maybe they start to question themselves maybe that's why they're going to try so hard over here but i do feel this person's going to be fantasizing and it's like they want to come back <laughs> i really feel that they want to come back for more all right yeah this person so even after this there's going to be some holding back and there's going to be a little bit of a time before you guys come back together but it doesn't feel like it's if there was a last time it doesn't feel like it's as long as last time like it feels like maybe the pressure mounts after this to wanting to get together again if that makes sense we have lots of fire showing up. I already said that with all that Aries. We also have Leo showing up to the party. Um, besides the other signs I said, we have Gemini now. And then we have everything showing up, honestly. We have water, lots of fire. We have air. We have Libra with that Justice card. Okay. Group number three, let's pull some initials and um, some charms for you guys. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for all these messages. Let's get some more messages for my group number threes. Oh, shoot. Let's get some initials. You know, I see hearts. What? I see two hearts. All right, let's see. We have G, P, C. I don't know why that made me think of chat GBT. <laughs> we have W, M, H. I think of Y. Another G, G, G. P, C. Maybe something about a computer. Someone's initials. We have X, Mexico, Z, Z, when you were sleeping or sleeping, you guys might sleep with this person, like sleep together, like falling asleep. Did I need to go into it that much? I don't know. All right, let's put these here. Maybe those initials mean something to you guys. And then we have, we have awesome me and you are enough. Okay. So someone's confidence, maybe that's something that they've been working on, or maybe this is you, maybe this situation, if it's been ongoing, it's like, there is a connection, but maybe it's something where you've had to take on this mentality or remind yourself of this, or maybe this is this person. Um, interesting. This feels like it's past energy with the, you are enough. We have Maggie riding the skateboard. So someone here could like the Simpsons or someone could be into skateboarding or a kid of the 90s. Maybe someone's a baby or a baby of their family. Someone's name could start with an M. We also have M here. We have Prince, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. You and this person, your vibes, I feel like there's conversation, there's emotion. So maybe you guys really understand each other. Um, it feels like there's a different level of depth to this connection this experience this encounter i don't know y'all you guys know your situation way better than i do we have a robert smith someone could be into the cure or get in their feels someone might be a might be a water sign i was going to say someone might be like a little um emotional or a little sensitive which is totally fine um maybe over this they've been getting in their feels we have the Night King, which reminds me of the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, someone that goes cold. Maybe when they get in their feels, they just go cold. We have Bjork wearing the swan dress. Maybe there's a connection to music um, between you and this person. You guys could communicate through music. But I also see as this connection has transformed and it's still transforming with that swan dress. We have Batman and Catwoman. We have um, a kiss can be even deadlier. 
So maybe you and this person, all this passion between you guys, but maybe you guys are like Batman and Catwoman, um, where yes, there's intensity, there's passion, there's connection, but you guys maybe are very different. Also, let's keep in mind, like Catwoman wasn't the only wild one in the situation. Like we have Batman, Batman in his darkness. You guys are both battling, maybe you guys both battled similar demons per se. Maybe you guys both battled similar situations and you understand each other. Um, it doesn't have to come between you, but maybe that's part of the connection that you guys see eye to eye. You guys can be real with each other. You guys can be authentic. Uh, maybe you guys have seen the shadows in each other and you didn't turn away. Something gothically poetic like that. <laughs> we have... Um, the chronic 2001, the pot leaf from the chronic 2001. So again, maybe a music connection, um, West coast hip hop, West coast rap. What else? Um, I always think of the watcher. I, um, I don't know why that song always pops in when I think of the chronic 2001, um, Dr. Dre. So maybe someone likes that album. And then we have journey. Um, this reminds me of a crystal ball. Maybe your situation with this person has been a journey, but journey is also an old like eighties band. Um, so again, maybe there's a connection to music, to nostalgia. All right. There's a goth, there's an air of like goth going through here or like I'm into it. It's cool. All right, my group number threes, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.